This year was full of games that got our attention. Whether it was for the right reasons or not, these games had us talking. Let's take a trip down memory lane and look back at our picks for the most buzzworthy games of 2020. Even before the game's release, Cyberpunk 2077 was a common topic in the community as we closely followed its development. From learning about the scale of the game, to the crunch happening behind the scenes, its many delays, and even that you could customize any and everything about your character. Cyberpunk 2077 kept making headlines and made it near impossible for us not to talk about it. Fortnite has built its brand based on having people talk about it and 2020 was no different. Just to mention a few milestones this year, Fortnite held various celebrity concerts like Diplo's album release party, partnered with Marvel to introduce its characters in a new story arc to the game, and even hosted a movie trailer premiere for Christopher Nolan's Tenet. It continues to succeed as not only a game, but a place to socialize, and that will keep us talking for years to come. The Last of Us Part II had a lot to live up to. Fans were invested in its predecessor's story and characters. So when Part II went against the grain with its fan favorite characters, it was met with mixed reviews. It divided the internet into one group who thought the game was great and another who thought it was a disappointment. No matter which side you're on, we can all agree that this was one debate you can't forget. When the world was forced in their homes, Animal Crossing New Horizons released at the perfect time. It gave gamers and non-gamers an opportunity to build their own island and safely interact with their friends. What was unexpected was how celebs like Elijah Woods used the game to interact with their fans and tour their own island on late night television. As a result of celebrity influence, Animal Crossing was the most talked about game on Twitter for the first half of the year. Among Us became a success in the gaming community thanks to being a free-to-play game and its accessibility for non-gamers. It peaked at 3.8 million concurrent players in September and was the perfect game for celebrities, specifically politicians, to use for publicity. Politicians like Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez used the game to help drive votes and even teamed up with popular streamers like Pokemane. Its popularity surged as a result, and it continues to be one of the top games to be streamed. 